Of course, the story of the weekend, Lionel Messi and those free kicks, which on yesterday's show, Stevie explained, was just down to the ball. But we can see Messi there has outperformed teams, whole teams, Juventus, Real Madrid, and Manchester City. Here's some more context from Sid Lowe. Messi's hit rate with free kicks via Opta end goal this season is 40% in the league, 33% across all competitions. Bonkers. Yes, Sid, it is bonkers. A third of his free kicks across all competition finding the net. I know uh, you always say, like, what more do we say? But what more do we say? Yeah, I mean, it really is crazy. Now, look, obviously this statistic will will shift over the season. I, I think it's impossible to imagine that even Messi will continue at this rate. That 40% in, in La Liga is, uh, I think I'm right in saying it's it's four of 10 free kicks. I think he's taken 12 in, in all competitions. So obviously he hasn't scored in the Champions League, which takes it down to, to the 33 in, in, in all competitions. Um, but it genuinely has reached the point now when Barcelona get a free kick and the ball is anywhere between one yard and ten yards outside the area, if Messi doesn't score, you're kind of sitting there watching it going, yeah, he's not that good, is he? <laughs> um, and it's, it really has reached that point. He's got to score a brilliant goal every time now. Or you kind of feel disappointed. You kind of feel like he, he hasn't done what he should do. Uh, there's, there's a whole load of things that obviously make this interesting. One, of course, is just the... the, the the, the lunacy, if you like, of the statistic in the first place. The other is that this has changed. And this has changed over the years and he's improved enormously over the years. And I think that tells you something, that we tend to look at Messi as a purely natural talent, which of course he is. But I think as well, it's probably it, this probably reinforces to us that this is a natural talent that, that's got an awful lot of work behind it as well. Bonkers, Sid. Uh, I think you hit it right on the head. How about this from Ernesto Valverde? Describing the ever-discussed dependency on Lionel Messi, quote, it's impossible not to depend on Messi. That's how it works. Uh, Sid, is this the most dependent that Barcelona has ever been on Lionel Messi? Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, look, that, that phrase from Valverde, we could be unpacking this all night. We really could be talking about this and what this means and how it impacts upon other players and what it means in terms of the responsibility that they take, what it terms, means in terms of their willingness to take, take things on, what it means in terms of the structure of the team. And, and it's not perfect. There's absolutely no doubt about it. It is not perfect the way that Barcelona is set up because on the face of it, the, the idea of give the ball to the best player in the world is not a bad plan. But if it's your only plan... I think it is a bad plan. I think it is problematic. And there was a, a moment of the weekend when Valverde was asked a, a, about Messi and free kicks. And he said, well, look, it's true that when Messi has the ball, you feel like anything can happen. And of course, that anything includes a Barcelona team who really aren't very good. And against Celta de Vigo, they really weren't very good at all winning the game because of Messi. And actually, of course, long term, that's not a good thing. We saw that two years against Roma in the Champions League. And we certainly saw it last year in the second leg against Liverpool in the Champions League. Sid, who's that more on? Is that on Valverde or is that on the players? <sighs> That's very difficult to... I mean, I think it's on all sorts of things. I, I think it's on the structure and the, and the construction of the squad, which I think is more about directorial level and presidential level than on Valverde. I think it is about Valverde in terms of the way that he sets the team up. But also, I think it does say something about the players because obviously we've seen moments when Messi's been missing and, and I know we've moved on from this now, but Neymar and Suarez have stepped up. We saw them win the Clasico last year and score five goals without Messi. So it does suggest that there's something, whether it's at some sort of emotional or psychological level, that means the other players kind of either hide behind Messi or hand over too much responsibility for Messi. And then you have to ask a question, and I think it's legitimate to ask it, whether Messi in some way, whether it's directly or indirectly, demands that and whether that's problematic as well. And as I say, it's very difficult to avoid this. As Valverde says, of course you depend on Messi. It's how it works. When you've got a player this amazing, perhaps that is how it works, but maybe the challenge is to find a way of having a structure around it that means it's not purely about him, but that continues to get the best out of him. Because, you know, he is so far ahead of everyone else at the moment, in Spain at least, that, that it, it kind of feels natural that people end up deferring to Messi all the time. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.